Hi, my name is Ali Direct. I'm a theater artist here in Calgary. Hello, my name is Monica Illa. I am a visual artist and puppeteer in Calgary. I like puppets because they can do things that human beings can't. I just think they're more fun. I saw a show called Ignorance from the Old Trouts, and I, for the life of me, couldn't understand how people could do this for a living, and just thought that it was like art and magic and sculpture and live theater, and it was just amazing. I, I like the scale of it. I like making things teeny tiny. I think the, the smaller things are sort of the more magic they have. So I love making these like contained little worlds. I think my favorite puppet that I've made is uh, probably like one of my first puppets that I've made. I went to the Banff Puppet Intensive in 2014. He's like this uh, goblin character named Norbert. I just think he's really cute and wonderful. So I made a painting for a friend of mine. Painting wise, I couldn't have made five years ago. It was just, uh, it took me forever and it took a lot of skill that I didn't have five years ago. So I was pretty proud of that. And then favorite monster is a giant eight foot Yeti that I made, that I've made twice. Um, and I love him. His name is Otzi. He's a Yeti. Favorite monster. I don't know, is Big Bird a monster? No. I really love Junior Gorg. Um, from Fraggle Rock. But once again, is he a monster? Why do you think there's a difference between the best thing you've made and your favorite thing that you've made? I have the most fun when I'm making monsters. And the best thing that I made didn't have a monster in it. <laughs> <laughs> the best training is gonna be experience. So the fact that uh, you know I was able to build a show and tour it with some friends um, was probably the, the biggest learning experience in terms of puppetry creation. As a maker, I, I take on a lot, and I think that if I didn't, if I wasn't be able to do a couple of things at once, I wouldn't be able to meet deadlines. But it also means that I regret my life decisions um, throughout various moments of that process. Favorite puppet show I've seen? Ah! I really loved The Tooth Fairy by The Old Trouts. I think it was just like this wonderful blend of TYA with a, with like ultimately like really dark and um, adult themes. Favorite cartoon? Uh, Sailor Moon. What's your favorite thing to do on a spring day? Mm, walk my dog, throw her in the river, uh, watch cartoons and pretend like the world doesn't exist outside. <laughs> favorite time of day? 6.30 p.m. Favorite song on a sad day? Oh, um, anything by stars. There's something about stars that makes me want to drive in the rain at night. What's something you're looking forward to this week? Um, I get to edit a video with you. <laughs> <laughs> great. Favorite color of fun fur? Uh, green. I love green. I just think it's instantly great. Favorite thing in your studio? My good scissors. How have you been able to maintain such a vibrant creative practice throughout COVID? Lots of tea, lots of candy, uh, doing a variety of creative projects at, um, at a time, and then working with really fun and exciting people um, helps you kind of uh, make it through this really weird time. I mean, like, I get to make things with you and one of my favorite people, and I get to see you every day. Ha! I think COVID has made me reevaluate how many projects I was taking on before, because I think before we were for forced to stop working, I would say yes to pretty much everything. I'm using my whole brain when I'm making things and creating and um, there aren't a lot of tasks that I feel like I do that with. And if I'm making art, then I'm happy and I'm using all of my brain and I'm stretched to the limits every time. <laughs> what are you the most excited to make with Monica? Literally anything, I'm just excited to make with Monica. <laughs> Good answer.